going on, everyone? Welcome again to another session with Antoine Maxwell Photography. So if you haven't watched, um, we had a video where we did a behind the scenes of pretty much my setup of everything that I use um, for a shoot. So when we shot with my wife, we chose this photo right here. And we're going to do a retouch. So I hope you guys um, learn a lot. And let's get started. So I use Aperture for my tethering. I wanted to use Capture One, but I was having complications. So we use Aperture. So we're going to drag. Actually, let's do. Yeah, let's drag and drop it into Photoshop. And it should open up in RAW. See what happens. All right, so what we're going to do uh, for some reason, I had issues. So we're going to go to where the file is. And I think I have it somewhere around here. I'm really bad at a foul location. All right, here we go. So I think that was 1150. So we're going to drag and drop this image into Photoshop. And it's going to open up Camera Raw. And we're going to do what I usually do, which basically is go to sharpening 43, radius 1.6 and details 38. Go to lens correction and we're going to enable lens profile correction. I'm re-editing it 16-bit with 300 ppi open image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to work on the background. I usually do it last, but I'm going to work on the background. I'm going to pretty much just make it a little bit even and add a little noise to it. Just kind of fill everything in. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to select it. Let me see how this goes. Tolerance down, turn my tolerance down about 19. All right, that's not working the way I want to. So, selection tool. All Now what we're going to do is go to the refine edge and we're just going to just kind of select this area to bring the hairs in. So just go around the edge. Doesn't even matter how much you go over, but we're just going to try to just blend this in a little bit. Okay. So you get all the hairs and everything. And I'm gonna my radius about three or so. My feather to about three also. And we're gonna do new selection and hit okay. So what it's gonna do is gonna basically just select only the black area. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes. See how it works. So we're gonna bring this down. 
I might end up changing it, but we'll see. Hit OK. And go to Filter, Noise, and then Add Noise. OK. So I'm not really liking that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the original. And I'm going to usually do this. Just take like a black brush and then we're going to just paint it black in. Let's paint it black and then we're going to. Make it all one color. Because we're going to darken it later. Let's just even it out. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And let's go back. And so let's create a layer mask because you see here it kind of went over a little bit. So we create a layer mask and we're going to paint with black and we're going to bump this up a little bit to flow. And we're going to just remove a little bit of that what it already created and try to be a little more accurate. Zoom in a little bit. Paint. Uh, so we're gonna go back here. Back to our layer brush, and we're gonna come down a little bit. I'm trying to get in tight here. I guess this doesn't really have to be perfect, but we want to get it as good as we can. I guess that's okay. Alright, so this is before and then the after. I don't want to completely take it away because let's do this again. Let's try this out again. So I think what we're going to do, one thing I've learned in Photoshop is it's not perfect. So we can always delete and try it again. So let's try it again. So I think what we're going to do is, what I want to do is I want to remove this area and this right here and down in here but I still want to keep the light area and over here so I think what we're going to do we're going to try to even this out as best as we can so let me try something different let me try see how this works Let's 
things a little better. Try to get this as best as we can, and then we'll just clone this area out. Let's do this, fine. Let's do these lines here. Let's do this light area right here. Okay. And let's go to the clone tool. Um, I'm going to start at 57%. Let me do the pressure sensitivity opacity. And we'll just. Clone area out. Oh, it too dark. Okay, let's try this. Pretty good for now. Let's do this area up here. And let's come down here, do this part. So there's always different ways to do this kind of stuff um, is very subjective so this is my way how I do it um, others might have different ways um, so there's always ways to learn different things so if you have a different way I would love to know how you do it all right so let's try this out Let's go back here. Actually, I'm gonna try a different way. So we're gonna let's do color range and see if that works. So we come here, set the color, and it might pick a lot of a lot of stuff. So we're gonna deselect. We only want the black. Okay, so let's do this again. So, refine edge. Go around the edge of her body and her hair. All right, and let's do a radius. We're gonna leave the feather alone. Three, new layer, hit okay. And filter noise and add noise. Let's add a little bit of noise in the back there. A 
probably try to fix it a little bit later. By even it out, we might down, dodge and burn it. But for now, that's, that's pretty good for now. For after, for now. All right. So let's work on the purple side. So we create a new sample layer. Command Option Shift E creates a new sample layer. And this side is pretty good, so we should be okay. So we're gonna do another selection. Not only the purple. Change to the magic wand too to get all the way in the corner. Okay, and same thing, refine edge, radius about three, new layer, filter, blur, I mean, sorry, filter noise, add noise. All right, add some noise to the purple area, about three mount. So let's call this black. Panel, and we'll call this purple panel. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. So now that we have that, for now it's a starting point for us. It's actually one thing I want to do is let me see if I can okay all right new sample layer and now we're going to start doing the retouching so this shouldn't take too long so uh, as I always stated in all my videos, um, I'm using Bella Ortiz's um, panel. I'll put a link at the bottom of the page of the YouTube channel so you can actually go to her link and actually purchase her panel if you don't have it. Um, it's actually really good. I use it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the frequency separation texture. It's going to create a high and low layer. And the radius is 14. We're going to say there. And I'm just going to do Gaussian Blur, hit OK. And we're going to go over to our Healing Brush. And we're going to heal on the high copy layer. So all we're removing is just the imperfections. And we're going to keep the mole, but we're going to remove the pimples, which she doesn't have many. There's a little bit. A little bit of eye, shadow, gook. So I'm going to try to go through this pretty quick. Should be fairly easy with this. Uh, if you have a person with a little bit more texture, a little more imperfections, you might want to spend a little bit more time on it. But I'm for the video sake, I'm trying to get through it a little quick. Let's see, so eyes are good. I don't know what this is, but let's fix that. Open there. Okay. 
go down here. Anything else should be good. We're not gonna really do and go too much in detail with the with that. Okay. That should be good. Okay, so we're gonna go here to the low layer, and I usually do this, not all the time, but sometimes. We're gonna add just a little more texture back, so we're gonna drop the fill to about 90%. Okay, minimize that. So we're gonna do the frequency separation blend, which is another Gaussian blur. We're gonna put this about 14 radius. Actually, let's do 12. And hit OK. And now we're going to do, so her skin is pretty even. It's actually really even. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom a little bit. So we're going to go to take the brush, put it at about 4 flow, turn on our pressure opacity. And we're going to just select the area of the skin and kind of like paint in to kind of blend in the skin area. So we just go around and we'll just add in color to kind of blend it in a little better. Um, like I said, her skin is pretty good, so it's not as blotchy as most, but we'll just even it out a little bit. down here maybe a lip area uh, we'll come down here we'll do this area down here right a little bit kind of blend it in too much okay so arm that yeah, should be fine okay so what is what we have so far let's just bring this back down and dark a little bit okay so now what we're going to do, we're going to take the same low two copy layer. We're going to grab the selection tool, feather at zero. And we're going to select the areas that are like a little bit. So we're going to go here, we're going to hit copy and blend. And what we want to do, we want to blend the two texture and the, and the color layer together. So let's go to about 23. And what we want to do, we want to erase this, how it bleeds out a little bit on the side. We want to erase that. So we go to our eraser tool and we erase that away. And we merge a layer. Selection. Get this area right here. Copy, blend. And go to about, let's say 23, 24. And same thing. So how, you see how it spilled over here, up here a little bit. 
and just erase it away. Merge down. So let's do a nose area. Copy blend. And we'll leave it at 13. Merge layer. Alright, so let's do this area right here. This highlight area. I'm gonna copy select all of this area right here because it's pretty much one big highlight. So come here, copy blend, let's move it up to about 23. And we're gonna double check and see if it. Okay, so we're gonna remove it from our nose here. Let's try to move my eye and blend, emerge, sorry. Okay. So we're going to come here, do this area right here. Let's go up to about 24. Okay, good. And merge later. Let's go under our naked eye. Blend. Merge. All right. Let's do this area right here on our cheek. Merge. So let's continue on. Let's do the lip area, this area right here. Keep it at 13. Let's do that highlight on our chin. Let's go to eraser tool. Merge. Okay, do our nose. Just highlight. Side of her face. Get the eraser, and it got a little bit in her eye, so let's erase that right there. On the side, a little bit, maybe down here on her nose. Erase this on the side here, and a little bit right here. Okay. So right now, this is what we have so far on our, on our face. And like I say, look right now, it looks a little flat, but we'll build it back up with Dodge and Burn after this. Okay. So now we're gonna do our neck area, do this area.
get this area here. So we're gonna do something like this. Select that and actually not the whole thing. Select this area, copy, change the blend mode to from normal to screen, and then blend. Oops. And then blend. And let's keep it at 13. And we're gonna change the fill, bring the fill down to about so that that can pop out just a little bit. So we'll do that at about 30%. And then we'll do the same for this side right here. Copy, change the screen, blend. Thirty percent. Let's go ahead and erase the tool and erase it out just a little bit. Yeah, Thirteen percent is good. Okay, continue on. Erase this area right here. Oops, so let's do this again. Do this area, this highlight right here. I'm going to start with our arm now. Almost done. Copy blend. Copy blend. Store a hand. Try to get her this area right here in her arm. Let's do this last part of our arm down here. Let's do our hand. 
Cayenne. Let's do this highlight area first. So let's see what we have so far. So so far was what we have before and then after. So right now our face is a little flat, but we'll bring everything back. So now that we've done that, we're going to minimize this and do something a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to channel mixer for dodge and burn. So we're going to adjust the layers here. So monochrome. And let's bring the con constant down just a little bit. And so you can see down here when we do that, you can kind of see a lot of the areas that are kind of blotchy down here. But right now we want to focus on face a little bit so it's starting to raise down a little bit greens up blues so our face looks like it's pretty fine but this is a few areas so what we're gonna do is then we're gonna call this uh, help layer And we're going to basically go to a new layer, call it MDB, and change it to soft light. Choose our brush, flow to four, pressure, opacity on, and then we're just going to just go around and even out the skin tones. So we're going to switch to white. And we just want to kind of go around and even on the skin tones. This section might take a little while, so if you want to skip to the next part, which will be the global dodge and burn, you can do so. Um, if you're not really familiar with micro dodge and burn, you can watch for a little bit and then skip if you like, if you want to watch the whole thing. You can watch the whole thing. Um, I'm not going to fast forward. I'm going to just go through the entire video by doing this. Not the entire video, but go through the whole thing. So, if you want to skip, you skip. So, I might go quiet for a little bit. So the optic is basically just to kind of blend everything together. So this is what we have so far. Let's go right here, kind of bring that together. Up here on the forehead. I think micro dodge and burn and dodge and burn is my favorite part.
All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video, go through this, and then when I get towards the end, I'll uh, come back. All right, so we're almost done. Got a little less of a part to do. We're gonna bring this up some so we can see a little better. I'm gonna do this neck area right here. So we're gonna go to white, kind of even this out a little bit on neck. Back. All right, let's see what we got. So this is the before and after. Not a big difference, but enough. You can tell. All down in here, in the area right here, and all around here. Our face. Let's do this area right here too. Switch to white. Use this. So what we're gonna do for here, this area right here is a little bit crazy. So we're gonna hold on Alt and we're gonna select this area, this color right here. And we're gonna color this in, kind of fit it a little bit in this area, in this area right here. And let's try to go back to white again. Kind of just even it out a little bit, not too much. See if we can fix that with creepy separation. We're gonna go back to creepy separation, low layer, low two layer, and we're gonna select this area right here. And we're going to copy and see if this works. Uh, layer two healing brush and let's just kind of heal this area right here okay that's good
All right, so now we're going to dodge and burn. So we're going to use the same help layer. And for this, we're going to do dodge and burn macro. So uh, when I created this, I messed up. So this little area right here, don't worry about that. I just deleted. it. All right. So with this, we're going to choose black first. We're going to dodge first. So we go to our brush, black, passive pressure, 4%. And let's do our eyebrows first. Just darken our eyebrows some. This area over here. So what we're doing is basically we're just building back up. What we pretty much flattened. So we just want to build back up. So just building back up. Looking good so far. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna darken this area. Maybe for add a little bit. Maybe here. Let's bump this up to about 10, 11, 10. And we're gonna darken this area right here. Make the eye, make the eye pop a little more. To the other eye while we at it. Alright, let's go back to four. So all we're doing is we're just enhancing the shadowed areas. Let's go to white. Do this highlight. This area here with the eyebrow. Get this highlight right here. This a little bit of the eyes. Let's see. Do this highlight. Switch to black. <laughs> do the <laughs> area.
just do darken this a little bit. so far let's go on let's do our hand It's pretty easy. Uh, I say it's not hard on her skin. So just don't look at the ears either. So this is a before and the after with the help there on. So let's go back to turn this off. Before, after. So all we did basically was just build up. So this is a before complete and after so far. Alright, so what we're going to do now is, what I usually do is, I usually saturation and she's a little bit too red so let's bring her down a little bit and I like to it's not good also I like to do a black layer and change the black layer to uh, multiply kind of give her a nice brown tone to her skin and we bring the fill down still about 20% and I only really want to affect her skin so I will do a black layer 100% and let's just, oops, let's just do it on the background. I only 
want to affect her skin. Again, I know there's probably an easier way to do this or a better way or a faster way, but this is how I learned myself how to do it. So it's easier for me. So. So that's that. Should just bring it down a little more. Okay. So let's group these two layers of Dodge and Burn. And we call this skin color. Alright, so as you have so far. My even skin tone. Background is taken care of a little bit. You know, I want to I want to fix her hand down here at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is let's make sure everything is good so far. I'm not liking any bumps around here, so let's go to preview separation, uh, layer 2, and let's get rid of these. Tedious, but don't want to remove all of them, just the one that's that are noticeable. in this part on her lip area so let's see if we can fix that so let's go let's do skin color let's do a new layer and call it color and brush select let's select this color right here let me see how this works. I just want to even that in. Okay. Let's 
see what we do if we change it to self light. Right, let's try that again. Let's do actually let's do a fifty percent gray. So instead of clean, let's do dodge and burn and see how that turns out. that with something else. Yeah, let's try something different with that. So let's try this, let's try this. So if we work on that, we'll, we'll come back to that. All right, so let's do a new snap layer. Command option shift E. Okay. Let's do a little liquefying. A little bit. So change my pressure to seven. Some, some, pump it back in, pump this in. Let's see, let me try something real quick. Let's try to make her a little bit longer. So we're gonna do the only select this area right here. So we'll take out this area. Hmm. And let's try this out. So we're gonna put this at about Hundred. Make your brush big, and we're just gonna just move down. Move down. Move down. I let's erase it. Made her neck just a little bit longer. Make sure everything's okay. I just stored it. Okay. I'm gonna come here and remove this piece.
Let's fix this angle a little bit. Alright, so we're looking pretty good. Fix our right here. Okay. Alright. I think I'm gonna leave her mouth where it is. I think that's just part of her upper lip that's a bottom lip that needs that's probably a lighted area okay all right so I think we're let's do one more thing I want to fix this area right here as we said before which is the over here. All right, so let's do a white brush. Four percent. Let's see how it looks. We might keep it. Might not keep it in there, but we'll see. And just light touches. You don't want to overdo it. What we want to do is basically just kind of blend it in together. Yeah, this looks. Let's go back to black. Let's try to darken a little bit. That's good. Yeah. All right. And we're gonna do one more thing. We're going to want to brighten up the white area right here. So we're gonna curve adjustment, and we're gonna click clear and just bring our slider up a little bit. invert 
And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna just do the selection on that area. Just gonna select all of that area there and down here. And then let's get our brush 100%. Let's push the white, and we're just gonna just paint that in white. I think I want to do this and go back. Let's do refine edge and see what we get. So, same thing as before. All right, now let's see what we get. Do hit OK. Might have to bring that back. So let's do this. Let's deselect and let's hit our black brush and let's bring the alice back back in. we got I think that's it so so here's your before and your after all right guys so once again, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And actually, let's do one more thing, guys, before I end the session. Let's fill this in a little bit. I just noticed this. Okay. Yeah, so uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, Check out my site and uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll add all the links to um, the panel for retouching uh, for Bell Ortiz in the link. Um, and I'll add the, the, the timestamp so you guys can click through um, each section um, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't like. Uh, but once again, um, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time.